Hey, what is up, lads? Cast and Corral here, back playing Dank and Rampa 2. Goodbye, despair. It might be weird to see me here on this main menu, but ah, uh, I just feel like tagging this episode out because this is most likely going to be a very short episode, I'm just, and it's probably going to be a shorter episode. That's maybe going to be longer than the Naruto finale. Yeah, you remember that? No, I don't. I don't think you even do. Anyways, in the last episode, we just scoured all over the islands to see where Nagita's bombs were, and we, and what's the name? Fuyuhiko found him at the fifth island in the plushie factory. We did. We tried to defuse it. However, we found out that it was fireworks. So now we're gonna confront Nagito, which is in the storage warehouse, I believe. Ah, let's continue on, shall we? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the crap out of him. Hey, I totally know how you feel, but calm down. Hey. Shut up! Oh, spiciness now. Everyone's feet came to a grinding halt. Their red, angry face, faces instantly transformed to a look of caution. That Kane, what is it? Huh. Can you hear something? It's coming from the other side of this door. The other side of this door? As I listened carefully, I could make out a soft sound coming from the inside of the warehouse. Music? What's he planning? Is this another one of Nagito's traps? Huh? Maybe the moment we open the door, a real bomb is gonna go kaboom. Now then. All right, let's open it and find out. Huh? Please do not, Akane. It is dangerous. Yo. It's fine. I'll open it slowly. No, that's not the problem. Seriously, it'll be fine. With those words, Akane brushed off everyone's warnings and slowly opened the door to the warehouse. Ah, locked. Huh? It's not opening? Is there something blocking that door? I can barely open it. Hey, oh, barely hey. open it. I knew it. It's a trap. Seriously, just stop it, okay? Yeah. Did I tell you it'll be fine? I just gotta use a little more force. What? What the happened to it? What the hell happened to opening it? Opening it slowly. It kind of ignored their protests, and with a mighty kick, the door flew open. Ah! It's gonna blow up! Instinctively, we tensed our bodies and braced ourselves. Braced ourselves how? Huh? Huh? What's this? Uh, what happened? Yo. Look inside. What the hell's inside, man? It sure oh. is dark. It looks oh, the like fucking there music, aren't any man. On. Is Nagito really in here? I don't know, man. The inside of the warehouse felt even darker because our eyes were still used to the bright sunlight outside. Within that darkness, a loud hymnal blared throughout the warehouse at full volume. Hey, do you guys hear something? All yeah, I hear is the hymnal. Yeah, it's really damn loud. Is Nagito, like, listening to this depressing crap? No, oh, no, dude. I'm not talking about the music. What do you hear now? As a fun cue. It suddenly started. Oh shit, what the fuck? It's on fire, it's on dude. Fire. You stole my words, you fuck. A fearsome blaze suddenly began dancing inside the dark warehouse like fiery wings spreading before us. Whoa. What's going on? Wait, isn't Nagita supposed to be in here? Oh damn, she's calm as usual, but hey, shit! Hey. And you can even see the details. Look at that fire, dude. How are we supposed to put out that fire? There should be ex extinguishers, fire extinguishing supplies inside the factory break room. Perhaps we should use those. I could not. My English just fell apart in that the yellow text, man. Oh no! I got it. Let's head to the break room. After listening to Sonya, we ran into the factory. Fucking hell, man! Ah, uh, fucking break room. Yes, there. The break room's here, right? Let's see what's inside. Where are the fire extinguishing supplies? Nope. Oh! Fire extinguishing here. Fire grenades? A huge supply of lined up plastic bottles. It looks like there's some kind of liquid inside them. We found it. Those are fire grenades. Fire grenades? They're basically fire extinguishing goods. When you throw them at a fire, the container breaks and the chemical inside puts out the fire. That is strange, no? But that is, this is strange. Last time I peeked inside this place, I recall seeing other fire extinguishing supplies too. 
This should be plenty. Let's hurry up and go back to the warehouse. Uh, is that a detail we should overlook? Yeah. We grabbed all of the all the fire grenades and rushed back to the warehouse. I've never seen that in my damn life, dude. Is that even effective? Uh, make sure you don't get too close to the fire. It's dangerous. Oh shit. Take care not to inhale the smoke as well. We should throw the grenades from the door at the same time. Looks like the current in the back is burning up. It's just to aim for that, right? It's alright, let's go. Oh. Sounds like glass. We aim for the current in the back and threw all the fire grenades one after the other. But hey, is it just me? Or does it feel like the fire's not going out at all? The current of sword impacted the storm grenades, which fell into the floor and the floor and shattered. They're completely ineffective at extinguishing the burning curtain. Does it not seem like the fire is intensifying? If the fire oh, no, man. Rise, it will inflame the ceiling. Oh yeah. I don't know, man. Ah shit. Oh, that's what depressing. All we can do now is pray for rain. Rain for Don't what? Be stupid. There's no way it'll conveniently start raining if we pray for it. Oh. This is the power of the Japanese terrorbozo. Ah. It looks like the sprinkler's activated. Oh, what oh. the hell was the sprinkler? Sonya on about now? Must have detected the smoke and turned on. That took some time, actually. Shit. Hmm. Wanted her continuously to continue to vigorously pour the sprinkler out of the sprinklers, and it's extinguished. Ah, and after a while, the fire in this warehouse was completely extinguished. What the fuck? The hell is this? What the hell is this? I see nothing, dude. Ah, looks like the fire's out. Um. That is a relief. <laughs> What the fuck is this? What is this? <laughs> Why is it white? I don't even think it's supposed to look like this, dude. Uh, what the hell? Spook. Man, my merch is drenched. Got splattered with water, now it's soaked. It's so wet. Hey, hey. Hey, it's okay to look inside now. Just a minute. Huh? Ah, uh, time out, time out. You can't. Nuh uh. No way. Why, why can't we go inside? Hey, um... Smoke and hazardous gas are still spread throughout the warehouse, so it's gotta ventilate for a while. Well, yeah. Well, I guess you're right. It'd be a problem if we breathed in any lingering smoke. So... So for the sake of your health, please wait for just a little while. Oh, you're waiting, why don't you check out the Mankuma Theater I've freshly prepared? Wow, good advertising. I thought that was a glitch. No lie. I guess it's just Monokuma covering You're that shit up. So stupid. Okay, everything is a lie. Monokuma doesn't exist. The Monokuma Theater doesn't exist. Everything is fiction. There's no neat meaning whatsoever. There's no relationship whatsoever. Everything was made. Monokuma can't be found anywhere. <laughs> Actually, I can find you as a plushie on Amazon, my boy. Fuck you. What are you doing here anyway? You brought me here, you fuck. Jesus Christ, dude. Hey, there's Monokuma. Yes, indeed. Yes, now that the Monokuma Theater's over, I'm sure it's finished ventilating by now. Phew. Also, I'm finally starting to feel better. Just because my important merch wasn't ruined, was ruined doesn't mean I should be depressed about it forever. Whenever I feel depressed, I always ask myself this question. But hold on. Why are your eyes on the front? I got it! So we can move forward. Don't be sad about what's already happened and be positive. Um... We get it already. Jeez. Enough with your bullshit. I'll leave the rest okay. to you! Oh, thank you, Monokuma. Ah, I turn on the lights for you guys too. You might be- you might hurt yourself if it's dark. Here! No, now, go ahead. Go right ahead. Ahead! <laughs> Damn, redundancy. Is Nagito inside? Hmm. He said he was in his video message, but he probably escaped by now. <laughs> There's so much fire and smoke. Tch, I thought I'd finally be get to beat the crap out of him this time. Hey, hey. Well, why don't we go inside and see how he's doing? 
Um, you. Tajime, what happened? Well, nothing happened, but... I don't know why. My heart is racing. It won't settle down. I'm scared. As if an intense malice is about to stab me. Stab me? Throw up through my whole body. And I can't even budge. Feels like everything was too late. Ooh, what's that supposed to mean? Why do I feel this anxious? I don't know, homeboy. What do you guys feel? Well? Nugget, you said he'd be waiting for us in the warehouse. By now, he's probably escaped. Mm. But there's only one entrance to this warehouse, you know? Did you see him leaving? No, I didn't. But he might have escaped while we left to get the fire grenades. In fact, he might have been gone before the fire even happened. I don't think that would be true. That might be true, but... Shocky, does she feel the same anxiety I'm feeling? Does everyone feel this anxiety? Damn it! Like you probably start it anyway. Piss me off. Damn it, next time I see him, I'll beat the crap out of him. Okay. Sonya? It is strange, I do no? not believe there was anything inside the warehouse that could start a fire. So why did the warehouse catch fire? Intellectual questions. Damn it, not there! I wanted to get oh, a pit call. Anyway. Well, we should go inside for now. Need to see what caused the fire. Okay. Well. Hajime, you go first. I um, you know, need to tie my shoes. Oh, you're shit. Okay, so only me and Jack are anxious. All right, let's go to the goods warehouse. Ah. Anyway, let's go inside. Let's let's see what we can inhale from this. Oh shit, still going on. A charred odor permeated throughout the warehouse and the air was so heavy that it was hard to breathe. The moment I set foot inside the warehouse, a mixture of bewilderment, anxiety, and fear took over me at all at once. It smells. Hmm, something smells. Hey, hey! It's not me. I am sorry. Ah, I am terribly sorry. Are you serious? Huh? Miss Sonya, say it say it ain't so. No, not that. It's like I smell a never smelled before. Like Well, it makes sense that we're that there are strange smells when a bunch of different things were burned. Hey, hey. Hey everyone. Did you know about that curtain? You mean the curtain what that was on fire, right? What do you mean you know? I didn't notice it until the curtain was burning, but there's a space on the other side of it too. Ah I see. When I looked in where Chiaki was pointing, there was a space beyond the burnt tattered curtain. Oh. Where's the final mo hidden Monokuma? I want to find that shit, dude. Oh, damn it, I don't oh, want to. Sure. Ah, uh, I don't want to hear your opinion. Can I not get the radio? No? Okay. Let's go to the back. Ugh. I walked toward the burned, tattered curtain with slow, methodical steps. I never experienced such an oppressive atmosphere before, and I couldn't help holding my breath. And then, on the other side of the curtain, I saw the true source of the intense malice that I had been feeling. Oh, what's that, dude? Oh shit, what happened? What happened, dude? Oh, what? Oh, what a fucking man! Yo, what the fuck? Dude, what? <laughs> Nakiro's fucking dead! I... Oh, man. Oh, man. The hell is this, dude? That's... I didn't expect him to die. What the... And that's torture, dude. Ah. I had no idea what I was looking at. By the time I realized I was looking at the remains of Nagira Komaida, the ultimate lucky student, the time had already stopped. Damn, son. Ah, it's deadly life now. Smile at the hope in the name of despair. That sounds like something Nagira would say. Ah, eventually the shock finally registered with me. Numb feeling spread with from the center of my brain almost instantly. 
Nagito is dead, dude. Even when I saw this before me, I wasn't able to comprehend that reality yet. Damn. Oh, the others are starting to catch up now, right? Uh, what's going on here? Uh, you is, is he really dead? He's not pretending to be dead, is he? Uh, I mean, it's Nagito, you know? That's right, Nagito. The ultimate lucky student. Dead. You fucking what, man? He always messed with us. He always tried to confuse us. That's why... I can't believe it. Nagito ended up in such a cruel state. Nagito is dead. Deep down, I believed that when the killings finally ended, I never see this guy again. I never expected I'd be looking at Nagito's body like this. He would probably thought the same thing. Couldn't help seeing it in his dead frightened face. But on this island, unbelievably abnormal occurrences happen all the time. Even Nagito couldn't escape that truth. But even something as small as that. Ah, there's the BDA. Oh boy. After a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. Ah uh, yeah? Okay. Don't tell me. The body discovery announcement? Then it's for real. Hey! Then Nagito is really dead? Damn it! It's not that she's dead. If the BDA was made, does that mean Nagito was killed? Killed. <laughs> Plus it's one of us. I mean, that's what it means, right? One of us killed Nagito? One of us killed him so brutally? Who? But who though? Then, it's going to start again. Huh? The class trial is going to start soon, right? And, of yep, we got to do it. We gotta find out who Nagito's killer is. Hey, hey. No matter who you guys sacrifice, you're determined to survive and leave it silent, right? Hey. The time for action is now. So, allow me to give you the familiar Marukuma fa- Hold it right there. What? Don't get in my way like that. I was about to whip out the Marukuma file in such a cool way. Shut up. I can't stand this anymore. How much longer are you gonna keep putting them through this? No more. I won't let you. I'm like sure I'll pulverize your in evil intentions. Oh? No reaction, huh? Just say something. What's this? Oh, now I remember who you are. You're Monami. Oh, you just now noticed. Why? I knew you know Monami. Monami. If you're gonna talk about my intentions, why don't you talk about yours first? Hmm? Oh? <laughs> what What are your intentions anyway? Or are you keeping everyone cooped up in this island? I'm sure everyone wants to know. Everyone here wants to know too, you know? Oh. What? No fair. You're shutting up too. Wait. Enough already. We already have enough to deal with concerning Nagito. Please, do not say anything else that will confuse us. Aw, oh, damn. Ah. Oh. Fucking hell, man. Depressing scenes. Anyway, let's begin. Hmm? Huh? What? This is just... I mean, in the end, we still have to do it, right? As long as the killing happens, we can't do anything about it, right? We have no choice but to do it, right? Besides, it's our fault that we couldn't prevent it. Uh, I know. It's the only way you can survive, right? Nice! Woohoo! Looks like you kids are way more well behaved than Monami. Don't fuck with me! We're tired of this too, you know. That's why I'll definitely make sure to finish this for good this time. Ah, does this mean you guys are getting bored of this school trip? Actually, don't worry, the end is near. Huh? The end? What's the matter? Don't make a face like a pig that's about to become bacon. You've already noticed it, right? Must what? <laughs> the meaning behind the Monokuma timer. Um, I guess there's only two days left, huh? Oh, two days? Oh. When that timer reaches zero, two days from now, what will happen to us? Mm -hmm. The killing school trip will be over. Hey, hey. If, if this, if this will finally be over, you serious? Does that mean we can go home? 
What are you gonna do? Don't count your bears before they hatch. There's still something you gotta do before that, right? Ah, eggs, sir. It's so... eggs. Once again. Ah, the fifth <laughs> one, man. You guys need to find out who Nagu's killer is and survive the class trial. If this ends, if this ends here, there won't be an afterward at all. Do your best. Okay, sir. Wait. Hold on. I won't forgive you. I want to let I want to let you escape this time. Wait right here. What do you guys think? The school trip is nearly at an end. It's safe to think that we can go home, right? But still. Kazuichi, I understand how you feel, but we need to focus on Nagiru's case first. Damn it! Even if we go home, it'll be the end of us if we screw up here. Alright! Then let's hurry up and solve Nagiru's case so we can all go back home. However... It's nice to think everyone can go home, but that is impossible, right? I mean... Someone in this room may kill Nagito. There's a killer among us. The way of those words began to sink into me. That was a tr that was that was true of the previous cases, but was it really true this time? No matter how I tried how much I tried, I couldn't believe it. Because the victim was Nagito? Because his death was so abnormally cruel? No, it's not it wasn't just that. There was something more to it than that. And whatever it was, it was stuck inside me. Ah, <laughs> oh, investigate to. Ooh! I hear that music. It's like hearing... I don't know what that other investigation music was in the first game, but it was dope. Anyways, yeah, that's gonna conclude this episode. Next episode is gonna be all about the investigation of this murder so yeah i'm sorry it was so short anyways thank you all for watching if you've liked and loved this episode and don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends lads and i'll see you in whatever episode you watch your next on this channel man peace